Okay. Hey guys. Just get this, uh, got it off of eBay. It's pretty much like new. Somebody didn't use much. The uh, Makita three quarter inch hammer drill, three quarter inch. HP 2050. I just wanted to show everybody something with this thing. Some of you guys might know this already. Looks really nice. All right. But hold on one second. Okay. Beautiful drill. Looks nice. It's got some good weight to it. There's a little side handle here. Turn that up. Like that. Chuck key. And here is the Chuck, let's see something. If you open this thing up all the way. Oh, it's taking forever. I should have it plugged in so I could just do this faster. But yeah. There you go, look at that. Chuck key skills. How's that? <laughs> about you but right from the naked eye uh, experience tells me that this does not look like three-quarter inch to me so just to uh, verify I got my grandfather's uh, carpenter uh, ruler here carpentry ruler look that's more like a half inch and in fact it is a half inch that looks like half inch to me. I hope the camera's getting that. I'm not sure where I got this, but yeah. So, I read online, somebody actually contacted Makita about this, and they're like, how come this is only half inch? Their answer, believe it or not, was that this, they said that the drill can make holes that are three quarter inch wide. I, Really? I'm like, I hope it can make uh, holes bigger than that. Jeez, at least, you know, got to pay a little, put like a one inch spade bit in this or I don't know, whatever else kind of bit you put in it, but you got to have something bigger than, I'm like, really? Three quarter inch? Why is it called a three quarter inch uh, drill then? That makes no sense. Look. Three quarter inch hammer drill. Now, Anybody would think that means that this is a three-quarter inch, you know, wide chuck. You know, Jacob's chuck is three-quarter inch big, but no, nope, it's not. It's only a half inch. It's still a great drill, regardless. I bought this, uh, yeah, it's got, look, it's got two speeds. It's got forward and reverse. It has a regular drilling mode, and then this is hammer drilling mode so I guess it does like it like an impact thing and you know and it's variable variable speed on the, uh, the limiter on here so like you only go so fast if you want to you know limit how fast you, uh, you know, the RPMs on this thing and you know here's the the uh, forward and reverse it even shows you look that's to go back out and that's to go in you know just in case you don't know this way's forward this way's backward which I think all drills are like that. Every single drill I've ever had that has a lever switch like this, it's, that's forward and this is reverse. And here's your uh, trigger lock. So if you, you know, put that in, press that, let go, there, it's holding the trigger for you. And then it releases. But, uh, yeah, oh, and it's got this, uh, the rod, which I think this is so you could see if you're going straight or whatever. And, you know, it's a, a guide rod, but that's about it. I just wanted to, it's more like a warning video, more than a review. It's, uh, to let you know, if you see this on sale really cheap, like I did, it was, I think I got this for $70 on eBay plus shipping. It came to like 
90 bucks or something. It's still really nice drill for 90 bucks. And it's not three quarter, it's a half inch chuck. Thank you very much.